there are four implications of the presence of men in your life and i want you to note this number one the first implication of a man coming into your life especially sent by god is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away i did not just drive a personality that's why i said dot not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men are we together now the conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it, they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small you want to see what is inside the next time you see a human being come to you especially sent by god in a prophetic season you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what i'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern i've been fasting three days lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that god uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one pay attention to what i'm teaching you wisdom strategies let me tell you i think shortly before koinonia would start when we we're still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and I told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket brothers and sisters my life changed koinonia entered another a quantum leap when i began to read some of the things that were written i was shocked man bringing with them strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom i've had people help me solve problems in life and i've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I started saying, I mean, so why did I start going around? I mean, you were here all the while. Has that happened to you? 
after going around looking for answers talking everything it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night you say have you tried a b c and that's the end of it men convey us solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the regiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and naman washed seven times and the bible says his skin could it be that since 2013 you would have risen but god kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer god give me strategies and all of a sudden he said please get out this way we are talking serious things here said, i had a little dream i saw you i just wanted to share shut up don't tell me anything i'm not stupid i'm a, i'm spiritual a small girl like you and you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life I'm talking of quality God inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two what is the implication of a man in your life endorsements and opportunities men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities listen if no man can endorse you in this life you will never rise paul the apostle a man approved endorsed when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um you know the guy was discouraged and then i told him i said he should meet our daddy prof you know just to help him out and he said he i saw him i think it was just last week or so and he was telling me he said everything is settled though he said in his presence they were driving everybody out but immediately he entered and they saw the signature they said come in is it prof come in it's called what many carnal people think it's not spiritual you need endorsement it was john the baptist listen this is a secret many rising ministers don't know somebody who ends the loyalty of the people must speak for you otherwise the gate will not open the gate will not open show me the man speaking for you show me who has authorized listen when a man endorses you he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with 
Many believers lack endorsement. Many businesses lack endorsement. Many individuals lack endorsement. There are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that. By the privilege of God's grace that he has granted me, I have endorsed people with just a statement. A one-minute phone call turned them to millionaires. One-minute phone call. Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. They were going to cancel the crusades because he did not have enough money. He needed $10 million in three days. $10 million in three days. An anointed man like Benny Hinn, please pay attention. Benny Hinn was, you know, making the program, challenging the partners to come. And, you know, when the accounts department, their back office were looking nobody was really contributing and the holy spirit told him to go and bring oral robert he carried oral robert and brought him the old man came and sat on air and they had only three minutes can you imagine three minutes to the end of the program do you know what oral robert said he said benny is in need please help him in less than 24 hours they raised about 15 million dollars everybody say endorsement don't joke with what i'm telling you i'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90 percent of the ministrations that i have gone to by the grace of god have happened through endorsements one pastor endorsing this someone saying i came for koinonia listen to this message while they are saying that i'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody I pray for someone tonight in the name of Jesus Christ the voice the voice no, any listen not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and I pray for you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God may that voice speak over your life hallelujah men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there i mean so that we can give him the, i said kai i don't know anybody in my mind let's come for koinonia after maybe the person is here now as you are here you are saying praise the lord and i help you answer hallelujah because that's it is done someone's life changed overnight how many people after service they were just going out to trek just like that and somebody gave them a lift and while discussing they said, ah, what do you do young man he says sir you know i'm just moving around I said, ah, how can you be moving around what are you doing i'm not doing anything come to my office take this card and they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building and they enter the office and they say sorry this person and it, it keep getting access until he gets to the man and he says well i'm the managing director of abc i'm the nigerian representative of this let your life change can men change people's lives <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke look let me tell you some things are not demonic oppression some things are childishness which have been caused by lack of orientation sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work you know all these childishness people carry around i don't need anybody you need oh you better change that talk quick I don't need any man are you joking man what is man that thou art mindful of man is a conveyor of endorsement and opportunity 
are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements brothers and sisters I'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever the Bible says they know not neither will they understand they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course people have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement I've had the privilege I remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know I, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but I went to the church and I you know I saw the project they were doing and when I you know said everything I said by the grace of God um, I want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying Ka, apostle you are really anointed i said no no, no 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 in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sure what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please. I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, while you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now listen those who understand this never get stranded no sir no sir no sir there has to be somebody to speak the voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life you don't pay attention to what i'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer this is how god will bless men in this season that's why i tell you when god says it's a year of triumph believe him it doesn't take time it just takes the right voice speaking for you hallelujah i have entered offices today i have no business entering it because of the endorsement endorsement Who has endorsed you man of god i know you are anointed but you are sweating all around with posters flying everywhere and saying please invite me give me 30 minutes out no 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 you don't have to do those gimmicks who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you hallelujah i will never forget one one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married when she went to meet her mother her mother said i don't have anything to tell you i don't even know this guy just go and meet apostle whatever apostle says think of it leaving somebody's destiny in my hands i called the mother i said mommy this guy is a very nice guy he said apostle you are saying that i said yes from that day there was no ch challenge again lord raise somebody to speak for me or raise someone to endorse me raise someone to endorse my business raise some raise someone to endorse my life my destiny there has to be somebody to speak for you listen let me show you that jesus immediately they gave back to jesus where did they take him to the temple there were two men that endorsed him are we together immediately they took him one prophetess called anna had been there praying and fasting she lifted him and began to speak and then Simeon the prophet began to speak when John was among different people when John saw him John said behold the Lamb of God 
that takes away the sins of the world in the presence of everybody somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody don't be angry that men are doubting you you have not done anything to bless them why should they not doubt you listen listen let me tell you do you know i say this with all humility there have been people who by the grace of god they started out in ministry and the church was not growing the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak i now say oh this is my a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in luck and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he walked with me he's toast cement. He, maybe the guy has repented oh. do you know Paul had to do this for Onesimus it's in your Bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not saul this is now paul because the the, the predicament of being saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and Jesus is Lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man coming they call and say Kai, um, you know David Dam. I wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice i command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said i saw his poster with a and b's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly i pray any voice in the name of jesus that has been speaking even against your destiny i silence that voice right now shout amen i silence that voice right now i silence that voice right now please sit down sit down hallelujah cheap victory because a man showed up quantum leap because an endorser showed up there are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight a man of god they invited somewhere could not make it and he would just say please can you go and stand for me that was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there 
and they stood there and they did well that day after the meeting there are seven or eight pastors and they say sir please can you come to our, for our meeting can you come for our meeting etc etc there is no meeting brothers and sisters that i will go for that afterward somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of god to another region this is how we have grown as a ministry this is how we have grown, even financially the blessing that has come from people are we together now i remember someone one time sewing into the ministry and he said that him i think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some as ah listen if he's a mecca eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if he does not deliver it just take it at my risk and all of a sudden they will just sign it and instead of selling one one chicken somebody will come and say it's two five you say we'll give you 700 and all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken you will start doing wholesale delivery your life has changed Blessings. music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say I need a, I need a man yeah you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you what opportunities have you been given were you giving it or you looked for it by yourself are you seeing the secret to hardship where you have to look for everything by yourself who has called you to say there is a big opportunity i cannot handle it but here you go like whoever is going to get this job now there are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit i have felt led to lift certain people and i call those people and say i'm sorry i can't come their heart is paining them and i say no 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 no. but this person cannot call but i know someone i can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case closed i don't want my life to be hard though the bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um and i'll reiterate it very quickly someone who wanted to um i think get admission in nda and then the the required height level the person did not have that required height level and you know military people they are very serious well that's it he returned back to zaria and then met the emir and the emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant they should go and tell the man that the emir has added the height of the person who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is adding your height when people stand and conspire 
we must destroy Benga. We must make sure he does not rise. Who is the voice authorized to stand and say, no, not this? I will show you why doors don't open. Because the truth is, I want to admit this with all humility. Many of us are already prepared for the next level. But we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need. The truth is, if it's music artist, God has honored this ministry with great people. If it's intellectuals, there are some of you seated right now. One endorsement. I remember a gentleman who came here um, some time ago, a medical doctor. And he discovered um, something. He, was, he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check, I think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body very smart guy he came here and i told him i said please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with professor knock and like that and i think so on and so on like that like that we've not seen the guy again i want to believe that god has lifted him and i pray that it is so i made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life whatever price it will take i will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice it's not human worship hallelujah or a robot help benny he's in trouble and all of a sudden somebody's prayer point becomes a gift hallelujah there are men of god who just do you know there are certain stages even ministerially speaking sincerely if god grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage as far as ministry is concerned god has helped you there are certain individuals if god has given you the privilege to see god has changed your life endorsements opportunities number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings your own price is to win their heart you can go to bed hallelujah and lot went with him he didn't say and lot believed what he believed lot just walked with him hallelujah do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was walking with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like it was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was fifty thousand. just because she was working with who think of think of 
your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah i left my house with five hundred thousand. now i have twelve thousand. what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you i've had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith I came back from Abuja this just this evening, just coming here now. And um, yesterday in the night, I decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep. And while I got there, my, my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then, you know, saw her off. Uh, on my way returning, I asked the man, I said, how much is your bill? Probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest. Ah, the guy said, oh, guy, anything you give me. I said, no, no, please don't tell me all those things. Just, you, you are working. You are working with intelligence. What exactly, how much is your money? And then he mentioned, okay, X amount. He said, oh, guy, you know, I told you I have three children. Because I asked him. I said, oh, you have children. How many children? He said, three. I said, you're a hardworking man. You know, we're talking on the way coming. I said, I like you. You're a diligent man, striving to make sure you provide for your family. And then when he asked me how much, I said, no, but you know that's not the price. So how much is the last price? Then he now told me the truth. He reduced it by some amount. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me. He said I should take whatever was in my pocket, everything, everything that was in my pocket. I don't know how much, but it was, it was nothing less than 25000 He said, take everything and give the man. As soon as I draw from the car, I said, Mr. Man, you do not know me, but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man. Who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is, i hope this is not blood money and etc etc et i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way There are such occurrences on earth. I'm giving you an example. That's somebody's prayer. Now, it may look like it's 20 or 25,000 or whatever. I know it looks small to some of you. But that's the same way it can be 200 and something million. The same way it is that trivial. The same way it was. There are obedient people. Let me tell you. There are people who pack out of their house and give you if God said it. But if they have not had God, you can be dying. They will look at you like this. There are people who the voice of God is their trigger. But to get that voice of God, you have to invoke this and say, Oh God, let, let, send this man. This man has what it takes to wipe my tears. Financial and material privileges accessed, sim not through intelligence and business acumen, through the understanding that men can do this. I started doing something some time ago. I don't do it again. When I go to get fuel, whoever is before me, no matter how much he wants to fill his tank, I pay for it. I just said I would do it as a seed. If I go to get fuel and you happen to be before me, whether it's a bucket you are carrying, as long as it's within my capacity, I will sow into it. And I've done that and I watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people. Watch this. One time, I, re I remember, I think it was one of these, was it Salah or something like that? A, a, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ah, the wife was at the back of the bike. Just he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? And I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. Ah, he was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, Madam, bye bye. You know this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, 
I hear you need a house. This I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house? They are not in ministry. One day, somebody just said, come and escort me. And they are sharing houses and you just got your own. And left quietly and ran out of the town. Just quietly got a lawyer and said, sign this. It's called prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. That's what God is getting ready to bring for us in this season. Prepared blessings. Where you will wake up in the morning with a text. And you check the text. And all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return i'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that i'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody is speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving twenty thousand naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about $25,000. The people had exhausted all their monies and, you know, the hospital just called them and said, once in a while, we like to do good things to people, just like charity, and it happens to be you. I was told about a woman of God in Abuja today that went to a particular place and saw, um, it's like their chapel devastated. She brought out 8 million cash and said they should rebuild a house for God from scratch up. I know a man of God in this country. Well, not a man of God, but a rich man. The pastor had been shouting, we need a tent. All of you so we need a tent. We need a tent. Let's beautify the house of God. The rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying. One day, the guy got up and bought a tent, 25 million cash. They brought it. I'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason. I want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say i'm talking about money no problem i know you don't need it but your destiny needs it <laughs> so you better pay attention in the name of jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and boa said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of god and i stand in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it upon you as surely as the lord god of heaven lives may that come to you speedily May that come to you speedily. Everybody shout prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Say it again. Prepared blessings. Prepared blessings. Mm. It, it, it is true. It happens. Where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly. I share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice 
that I honor, that we honor. I supervised the supplementary list by myself. There were three people that I honor with every esteem in my life. And when three of them called me, I said, no, 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 I'm under authority too. Bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission. You, you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert. And they said, congratulations, but someone spoke for you. Why has it stopped? Why should it not continue in other areas of your life? That somebody will speak for you. You are just sitting, you see an alert with a phone number. And you call and say, who are you? You say, we were discussing. And someone mentioned your name. It has happened to me. It happens all the time. Pray one minute and say, Lord, help us. Financial help us. Please ignore people who think you are wasting your time. Pray this prayer with faith. Lord, send help us. The house of God needs help us. My family needs the ministry of help us. All I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper. No string attached. No, thank you for investment. But what I need now is not an investment. I need a helper. A helper. My family is about packing up. I need a helper. Please don't joke. This is your destiny. This is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears. I cry for a helper. The gift of men. He gave gifts unto men. He gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established. He gave gifts to men to the end that they be helped. In the time of recession, he is still giving gifts to men. In a time of lack and want, Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. Jesus, this is someone's breakthrough tonight. I believe. I believe, I believe. Who said the medical bills must be paid through salary? Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? sit down I tell you my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you many of you will thank me you will see your lives change overnight don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense I show you what can change your life brothers and sisters is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God there are few things in this ministry let me tell you there are few things in this ministry few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house every week every time there is somebody rising to handle something when we used to use other venues, there are people who just arise and say, look, I will pay for the venue. I will pay for this. How much does it cost to transport people all through after service? I will pay for it. Don't think it's everybody who must say, what will I get in return? There are people, whatever you want to give them, God has given them already. They don't need anything. They just want to bless you. What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four, 
what is the implication of the presence of men in your life I call it impartation access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them no matter how you cry for God to anoint you if you ignore men you will never do you know look at me some of you all you need in your life is just that prophetic push prophetic push Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and say wow this is how the ministry has risen they will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and you just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word i've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of god maybe i'll just review one or two remember the story i told you about the two women i went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women i'm not sure they could even speak english and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um what they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and i said uh -uh, i may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and i just bought the sugar cane i don't think i spent up to 100 naira. i can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through god who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame god will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money bishop oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time How he got that anointing, he said he was a particular man of God. I don't know if it was Archbishop Benson Idahosa or whoever it was who, he, you know, sent him on errand, sent Oedeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time. And the person showed up fast and, and Oedeko showed up fast. And then the man looked at him and said, ah, you mean you came at the time? He said, from today, I impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises the supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by god's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartation I have received impartations i'm like a bee i'm a product of strange graces jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push 
I told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative. The more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. Revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction. But when you get to the end of your road, you need the creative dimension of prophecy. Where someone can look at your life and say, look, physically speaking, there is no hope. But in the name of Jesus, I introduce a reality, an equation into your life. I was teaching in, in, in Akure and I told them the anointing is, the, is an advantage. It's an advantage. It's an advantage. It's an advantage. Prophecy. This ministry you see, there are constant prophecies being bombarded.